Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the athletes to the field for the compound women's quarterfinal match three. Bayanlar baylar, Makaralıay bayanlar, çeyrek finalinin üçüncü maçında yarışacak sporcularımızı sahaya davet ediyoruz. On target number one, representing the Republic of Korea. Bir numaralı hedef, Kore'den. So chair one. And her competitor on target two, representing Turkey. Rakibi, iki numaralı hedef, Türkiye'den. Yezim Bostan. The line judge for this match is Maçın çizgi hakemi Alexandre Vecchio Passerini Target 2 is shooting first Target 2 is shooting first Target 2 is shooting first Okay archers Boston you're shooting first So you're shooting second Target two is shooting first. Range is clear. Begin the match. Well, here we go. Yeshin Boston has the crowd right behind her. She qualified for these finals by winning one of the stages. In fact, it was here in Turkey, on the other side of the country in Antalya. So Chai Wan came through as a ranking qualifier. A great start. And that will get the crowd noisy right from the start, yeah. Chef. And I did not see a single look of doubt on my face of uh, Justine Boston. She's really here to, to get a medal, I think. I did, however, walk around on the, on the practice field uh, yesterday, and uh, the girl from Korea, So Chai Won, she was shooting. And she just like she looked right through the people she was just minding her own business and uh, i was really impressed by by how focused she was shooting incredible grouping just not inside the tendering Well, a brilliant start from Yessi in Boston. She's looking very happy indeed with herself, and so she should. That one is a bit off, but she isn't too faced with it or about it. She just walked back to her coach with a big smile on her face, so it seems like she's just enjoying herself. Well, different athletes uh, cope with the conditions in different ways. I mean, certainly there you see uh, in Boston looking pretty calm, cool and collected herself. Afforded herself a little smile. And like you say, Chef, she's looking determined. And uh, it's a great start from her with a perfect 30. Uh, and better than that, some of those arrows were pretty close to dead center of the target. Yeah, definitely. And it seemed even as if she wasn't too happy with how the last shot went off. So that still hit a 10. So that, that tells something about her, her current target form. One is shooting first. Range is clear. Shoot. Well, this is the third of the uh, quarterfinals. And it's the first time we've seen uh, one athlete take a, I'm not going to say commanding lead, but certainly more than a one-point lead yeah. after the first end. So Chai Wan, trailing by three, will shoot first. There you go. I suspect that she's found the middle now and won't go too far from it. So if you listen closely to the audience, you can hear that when she's 
aiming. The the kids in the audience are cheering her on even. Those exact kids. Oh, that is an exceptional response from So Chai Wan. I wonder if she's going to give her side a couple clicks because they were all three a tad low. And would you look at that? So uh, we look at uh, those arrows from So Chai Wan. Uh, those three right near the center were all in that second end. Yeah, so she could give her side maybe two clicks to the left and two clicks to the bottom. But I, I'm guessing it's it's fine like this. If she keeps shooting them like that, uh, they will hit the middle anyway. We talked about uh, the pressure that can be applied by the athlete shooting first. Uh, we didn't see it in the last quarterfinal, but uh, certainly shooting so well and so consistently seemed to affect yes in Boston there. Yeah, it, it's either that or just. Uh, the, the the general pressure that's on her because she's shooting in front of a home crowd and, and she's the number one of the world. Um, obviously, you want to show why you're the number one of the world to your home crowd, so there might be a little bit of uh, extra aspect of, of pressure here. Well, we go back to uh, Boston shooting first as uh, so leveled things up in the second end. So, she has a pretty good group, it's just still a bit low and a bit left, but I'm guessing I don't have to tell her that. That's just how what I saw on the practice field with uh, So Chai Won is that she can pretty much uh, knock her arrow and put her release on the string without looking and in one like smooth movement. So that was really cool. It's, it, I suspect that she shoots a lot of arrows a day if she uh, if she does that so smoothly and without looking. Yeah, well she does look very comfortable here. She trailed by three after the first end, leveled things up in the second, has now taken the lead, and uh, we get uh, a comparison of both of the archers' arrows so far, Boston in the red, and uh, so with the yellow. Yeah, there's not much between them, but there's not much between them in scores either, so you can, what's, what's interesting to see is that they're both to the left, uh, and it might have something to do with uh, with the wind, but it's it's difficult for me to say since I'm uh, in a sort of a sheltered position. Well, we see the two closest arrows from both of the arches there, and let me just tell you that's point four eight of a centimeter, at fifty meters. Target two is Incredible. shooting first. Range is clear. Shoot. So Boston will shoot first here in the fourth end, uh, but this time, and uh, not because of uh, the selection at the beginning, but because she is trailing. She started so well, put the pressure on, that the Korean has fought back hard. It's her turn to put the pressure back on the Korean. So still within her group, it's just still that her group is not exactly centered, so 
there might actually be a little bit of wind because I cannot imagine that she doesn't uh, react to this. Come on, here. After shooting a near perfect shot in the first arrow, Austin has opened the door again. That's a great shot, especially since the wind has picked up during that shot a bit. Well, and you saw the grimace on her face there, and that one's dropped into the eight as well. A big opportunity for the Korean now. taken it look at that leading by four after four ends we have three arrows from each archer left to go in this match trading by four chef it's i would say difficult for yasim to still uh, win this match unless so makes a really big mistake or uh, multiple big mistakes actually because the chances of getting more than one point back per arrow are really 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 small and look at how calm and stable she is. And uh, you can see the reaction there from Boston. She looked so calm herself right at the beginning and so determined, as you said, Chef. Yeah, there was a, a strong contrast in her, uh, her facial expression after the shot. Last three arrows. Target two is shooting first. Range is clear. Shoot. Well, the crowd are really trying to G yes in Boston up. She has three arrows uh, to keep her place in the draw here in Samson on home soil. Uh, but she's trading by four, and really she needs to shoot well, and she needs to hope that so makes mistakes. And that's step one. That's the first arrow on the right side of the target for her, actually. Well, the response has been brilliant from So here. Yeah, if you look at the target, you don't see many mistakes on that target. You see a couple of nines, but the group is just really good. Another 10 from Boston, so she has done something to correct the mistake she made in the previous end. But the response from the Korean has been phenomenal. And again, it's almost like she's getting closer to the center of the target. Yeah, I feel like she's uh, feeling more and more at home at this finals venue. Oh, perfect finish for Boston. That's what she needed. Uh, but as you can see, a six will be enough for So to draw level, a seven to win, and she hasn't shot anything less than a nine here. Oh, and it's a perfect score from So Chai Wan, trailing by three after the first end. She fought back, she took the lead, and then she pulled away. And in the end, a couple of eights from Yeshin Boston in the fourth end. Well, they played a big part in the comfort of So Chai Wan's win. So Chai Wan. Uh, lost three points in her first end and then only lost two points in the remaining four ends so uh, she really stepped up her game and uh, it was interesting in the in the windy conditions to see that she was doing so well i think uh, if i would have a hat on i would take it off for her